All right, Sean O'Connell has said this is his last season. We thought that he might be done after the last fight against Dan Spawn, but he extends his career as we take a look at the tail of the tape. Sean O'Connell, 35 years of age, 6'1", 205. His reach, 74 inches, 42 on the legs. The younger Solino Rama, the Prince, 26, 6'1", 204, and a 76-inch reach. 41 and a half on the leg. So we will see how this one plays out. Remember, both men fought a full two rounds in the quarterfinals. Let's set it into Joe Martinez for the official introductions. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Three rounds in this, our first semifinal in the light heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a boxer standing six feet, one inch tall. Weighing in officially 203 and three quarter pounds. His professional record stands at 10 victories. Four defeats and one draw. Here is the number seven seed from New York, New York, the Prince, Smilinho Rama! And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He's a kickboxer standing six feet, one inch tall. Weighing in officially 205 pounds. His professional record in 29 bouts, 19 victories, and 10 defeats. Here's the number six seated light heavyweight from Salt Lake City, Utah. The real OC, Sean O'Connor. And your referee in charge of the action is Mike Beltran. Sean's wife, Kendall, sitting cage side, watching her husband fight for possibly the last time. But every time I say that, the announcer jinx, and he keeps on coming back. <laughs> so will he be fighting in New York City on New Year's Eve, or will it be Schmelino Rama going home to fight for the one million? I think Sean O'Connor likes your mojo. There you go. It's good luck charm. say Shlomini Rama has big knockout power guys in his fist but he certainly can make your life miserable as he works that left and that overhand right. And he's got a crazy left high kick which is a very dangerous thing. He trips whoa he got rocked there a little bit. Yeah looks like Sean clipped him and Rama goes down quickly so now Rama's got to regroup as Sean is going to continue to come forward continue to fire off those jabs and big kicks and boss if anyone Oh, now Sean's in trouble as Rama lands a nice combination, and Kendall, his wife, does not like that. Rama did a nice thing from his back. He yep. threatened that leg lock and made Sean back up and, and, and not able to land any more damaging shots when yep. Rama was on his back. Not to scheme against Sean, but if you were fighting him, wouldn't the first thing you want to do is take away his greatest asset, which is those heavy hands, and get him to the ground? If I'm fighting him, I'm going to attach myself to him, clinch yep. with him, make him pummel, hang all over him, and try and take some steam out of him. Take some of that power out of him if possible. But we've seen him knock guys out yep. later in rounds, yep. too, and, and later in fights. So it, yeah, It's every time when he's in trouble and the fighter, his opponent thinks he's, he's, got he's done, he's yep. got him, that's where Sean O'Connell is very dangerous. And Eve said it right. He has a chin. Sean can take a shot or two or three or four. Oh, and look at this. Again. Again. He clips it's him because again. He thinks he's got him. Rama now finds himself in a world of hurt. Sean O'Connell goes to oh, work. Wow. And Sean O'Connell's going to New York City. Man, that is crazy. Hit him from the ground, from the top position. Wow. Rama was there defending himself. And Sean O'Connell caught him from the top position. He's going to fight for it. Sean O'Connell ends it in the first round as he clips Nino Rama not once, but twice. I guess we can go ahead and release him from any more announcing duties. <laughs> he might be busy on New Year's Eve. I think so, too. He should not come today on New Year's Eve. But again, you saw it, right? Shmelio went in for the yeah. kill. He thought, oh, I got him. And that's the moment where he's the most dangerous. Sean O'Connell, the number six seed, is on his way to New York City to fight for a million dollars after that improbable comeback in his first fight in the PFL where he was rocked and fired off the uppercut. Here it is. Rama looks to be in control and gets caught with the left. And, and then, then the hammer 
has come down. Big left. And that, that one, one tipped him. Yeah, it's yep. over. Wow. Smalingo taking that one on the chin. Oh, just a short left hook. At all, that's what it's all up to. And if you look at that again, it looks like Sean's left foot was standing on the foot of Rama. He couldn't back out. Right there. Yeah. Standing on his foot. Boom, boom. And that is one angry Jordan Beat Digger. And there we have Kendall. Kendall O'Connell. K.O. Yeah. Lives up to the lip in her name. Lip you know, name. Sean got married in June. I, I don't know if he's, he's bought his wife a proper wedding present or not, but he'll have a few extra coins in his pocket in New York when he gets there. Yeah. Maybe we send Sean down to Tiffany's to buy something nice for her. So Sean O'Connell, as we said, the number six seed takes down the seven, Slain Rama, and he is moving on to the championship. For the official decision, we send it inside the cage and Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. One minute, 45 seconds, round number one. We have your winner by way of knockout and moving on to the $1 million final from Salt Lake City, Utah, the Rail OC, Sean O'Connor!